Hey everybody, welcome to another Catfish Review. This is Season 8, Episode 34, Courtney and Chris. Let's get into this weird episode, okay? So Courtney is 22. She's a health uh, health aide and she lives in Ohio. The guy is actually in Turkey. So that's very interesting, all the way on the other side of the world. And he has good taste in anime and video games. Courtney is on the Zoom call with Cammy and Neve and she's like... Oh, so freaked out because she's wanted to meet Neve like forever, but she did not want to meet him in that sort of circumstance. You know what I mean? Like on the show, you know what I'm saying? So uh, she explains her job because Cammy asked what the job was, and she says she takes care of people that are dis developmentally disabled. Courtney and Chris they met on Facebook through role play. Don't get no dirty ideas. It wasn't like that, and um, it's like. He has like an art Facebook. It's not like really like a personal, like, let's face it. All of us may have more than one Facebook. But his Facebook was more sort of like an art Facebook, like showing his drawings and everything. And he would kept came, coming up with excuses saying that he blamed it on his old laptop saying it's also ancient. I can't get Zoom, Skype, FaceTime, or anything like that. And he also blamed on the time difference. And she loves turkey. In like 2018, she had sent him a bus and he had sent her a gift in the form of his hoodie. So that's nice. Um, let me see what else happened. Uh, okay. And then there was a moment they were engaged in 2018. She thought a drawing like him giving her a ring was in the picture and symbolized that they were engaged. Like, honey girl, that don't mean you engage. You can't get that from a picture nice picture but no and she's changing her personality for this guy like she's trying to get into everything that he's into i understand you want to have a bond with your partner and everything but it's, that's not necessary and the facebook the facebook that has the art it also has an art instagram and there's a tiktok on there that girl didn't look too deep did she she just fell head over heels and didn't look that deep i guess and there's videos of him drawing and then they find this woman named Eche on instagram and they, they have this theory going like maybe Eche is in love with Courtney. I don't know. And Courtney said it wouldn't be a deal breaker if it was Eche because she's also into girls. So, hey, if it's Eche, like, good luck. Um, and Cammy is like, um, so Cammy gets a text from Courtney saying that Chris wants to talk to them first before they do the video call the next day. And, you know, Chris wants to talk to them first. And he's basically beating around the bush saying, I don't like you that very much. And I don't want to be on the show and this and third. So I'm like, why wouldn't you be on the show? Maybe you shouldn't have catfished her in the first place. If you knew that, that being on the show was a possibility because she really wanted to meet you. And Cammie mentions it to DM when they get on the Zoom call. And they basically had a whole ass conversation talking about games and anime. Even though she said she wasn't really into anime and all that stuff. So, cheers to Cammy. She, like, did a little something on her own. Like, okay. And this is very creepy how the Zoom call starts. He, there, he's not in the camera or anything. He's, like, on to the side. And I feel like there was somebody there, somebody else there, moving the camera. So, that was very weird. And he had his voice and, like, a robotic voice. He'd be like, hi, I am here. I am Chris talk to me like um anybody want to talk to you like that okay and he explains that he has a normal imbalance so like his hormones are kind of um off balance like that's what it means and he basically says that he doesn't really have like the mask i don't want this to come off wrong i know somebody gonna come for me in the comments um you know his voice doesn't sound as manly as it's supposed to and, you know, he was feeling down on that and how his looks and I personally think he shouldn't feel like that, you know, because we all, you know, may have something hormonally wrong. And, um, but it is time for you to show yourself, mister. And he showed himself and he was covering his face. I really, really know that he did not want to, but promised to him for doing it. And he said he's never had a girlfriend in person. And Courtney is smiling from ear to ear, okay? And um, he basically, like, they, Neve had asked him why did they send money, why did she, she send, why did Courtney send money to Ekshay? And he basically said, like, he don't have, like, he has an address, but he didn't want to give her her address. So I'm like, and I, oop, 
okay i had to stay you can't trust these people you meet on these on online streets and he basically let let his best friend take care of that and the toady he and the bus she had actually sent it to his dad's workplace so i understand you're trying to cover all your bases and be safe and Courtney's so happy, she's happy at the prospect of being in a relationship. But sadly, Chris was more comfortable being friends with her. Like, their feelings did intense. But once again, it just ended the friendship. Next week's episode should be pretty interesting. So this girl's getting catfished by somebody that was a catfish on a past episode. So I'm very excited to see that. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed this episode. And... I'm trying something new with the background, but don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all next week, and follow for more TV show reviews, because I've been doing it up over here.